Yo, Elliot, I'm 23 years old with some college debt, but no education. Living with my parents, no car or driver's license. I'm desperate to make a change. I took a certificate for product design that promised a job at the end. But for months, I've been trying and failing to get a job that makes use of my skills. What should I do, coach? So, you know, I think that there is some value in creating momentum when you feel stuck, right? And of course, it sounds like Elliot contradicting himself because he says, don't do anything when you don't know what to do. Well, that doesn't apply to everyone. I can't give the same advice to everyone. And the, my sense when I hear your the situation that you're in is that you just need something to to get the get the ball rolling right you need to just do you ever go rock climbing right and you just sometimes rock climbers I, i'm not i can't do this anymore because i'm way too big but i remember i used to rock climb and sometimes you just need a little notch you guys who rock climb could, could assert this you just need a little notch to get your finger and it's like boom i just got this one little finger in there and then boom and you're able to like all of a sudden, you're scaling, the, you're scaling the mountain again. You're scaling the rock. It's a little crazy. But I see guys who rock climb. More I'm watching other people do that than me because my little fingers is too weak for my big, heavy body, right? Most rock climbers are like, you know, 120 pounds. <laughs> me, I'm 230 pounds. So they, they get all this momentum from just, just getting their finger in the door, just getting that little, this little tip right there. Wow. And then all of a sudden, they're gone. And I think sometimes that's what needs to happen with us in our lives when we're stuck, right? If you're stuck in that puzzle and you're like, man, what do I need to do? Maybe I can just get a little bit going and then all of a sudden you take off. Right now, you, you, you didn't finish college. You, didn't, you don't have a driver's license. You don't have a car. You can't get a job with your certification. What I think you need to do is just do something. Go get a job at Target. Right, and I'm being facetious here, but I'm also being serious. Go get a job that will accept you in their job. Just go and do anything. Right? You want to choose something that is is a little bit tolerable to you. Right? It should be tolerable to you, but it doesn't have to be using your skills. It doesn't have to be something you're passionate about. It doesn't have to be something that has great uh, potential for the future. It just needs something to get you out of your freaking house and start to build some momentum in your life. Even if you go work at Target, even if you go work at Best Buy, even if you go work at, you know, the supermarket or something like that, you're making money, right? What can you do with that money? Well, I save up a little bit of money. I get myself a cheap car. Once I get that cheap car, I'm going to get my driver's license, right? Like, I think you should have your driver's Unless you live in New York City or something like that, I don't see why you don't have a driver's license. Go get yourself a little. That's momentum right there, too. Now that you have a driver's license in your pocket, there's more impetus to get into a car and drive. But you have no car, so you get a little job so that you can save a little bit of money and so that you can get yourself a little car. Now that I got a license and I got my car, I got mobility, now that I have some mobility, I don't have to work at Target that's right down the block. I can work somewhere else that's a little bit further away. Now that I have my license, I have my car, and that I saved up enough money working at Target, and I'm working at this place down the way, there's more opportunities for me. So what I think, just long story short, I think you just need to get off your ass and do something, right? Right? Do something. It doesn't matter. I don't even think it matters what. I remember. Let me. I gotta close the shade. Hang out. I remember young E when I first first moved to Florida. I must have been I don't know 24, probably 24, 25 years old, and. I wanted to build. I wanted to build my personal training business, right? I was kind of working out at somebody else's gym, but I didn't have as many clients as I wanted. Man, I was struggling. It was tough. I didn't know what to do. I I didn't know how to make any money at the time, right? I was trying. I was I was making my website. I was doing everything I can, but I was stuck, like you. The craziest thing, man. So in my stuckness, I just I just I kind of knew this, that okay, I need to go and do something. I need to create some kind of momentum in my life right now. And if no one's going to pay me for my services, 
right? I only, I only had like a couple clients and I needed more, but I couldn't find any. No one's going to pay me. Then I'm going to go and volunteer. So I found this place. It's like a non-for-profit organization that was in St. Petersburg at the time. And they do, uh, they needed somebody that could, um, that could do phys ed, basically like teach a phys ed class to, uh, handicapped kids. I know it's not PC to say handicap. I don't know what to say anymore. Right. The whole, the whole, the whole language has been weaponized. Um, disabled. I think that's a bad word too. <laughs> Whatever. You know, when I was young, you say mentally retarded, like that was okay to say, I don't know what it is. But anyway, I had compassion for these kids. And I was like, you know, what? I, I see these kids, they do need, they need some exercise, I can do some fun things with them, I can take them out, and we can do some workouts out in the backyard of this place. So, you know, they, they approached me and they're like, you know, we can't pay you, because it's not for profit. But if you'd be willing to do this for us, it would be a nice thing, you know. And I was like, yeah, you're right, it would be good. Right. So here I am, I have nothing but time. And so I volunteer for this to, to, to help these kids and to do, to do workouts with them. And I kid you not, bro, this is, it's just strange how, how God works and how these things unfold. I did that for maybe two weeks, maybe two weeks. And then boom, all of a sudden opportunity fall, fell in my lap. Big opportunity started falling into my lap. Not things I was looking for, but things that came to me. And I assert, and even before I went into this volunteer position, I knew that I just need to create momentum. I just need to get busy doing what I want to do, which is exercise. And even if it's doing it with these disabled kids, I'm going to do it because I want momentum in the direction of where I'm going. I might not make any money, but I know that it's going to, just like the finger, right? I just got to get my finger in that little nasty rock. Is going to give me just enough time to swing over and to make a big move, make the next move. And that's what happened to me. And that's what I invite you to do. If nobody's going to hire you, go volunteer. Because it's not even about the money. It's about the momentum. Get out there and go do something so that there's movement in your life. And that movement will turn into opportunity. So that's my opinion on that, bro. I hope that helps. Dude, done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent King Transformation classes with my students, where among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week and we speak on things as it relates to becoming kings in our lives and fitness, business, and with women. If that sounds like you and you wanna join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day, in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word King, K-I-N-G, and then me and my team will get back to the details to see if you qualify. I really hope to see you at the next meeting. Done.